Absolute childhood dream come true. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have my very own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1989 Konami Classic Beat 'em Up Arcade Cabinet. Now, if you remember recently on the channel, I did a Mortal Kombat restoration slash project build, um, and I mentioned I bought two cabinets from its seller. This was the second cabinet I purchased, and it obviously didn't really look as good as it does now. In fact, when I got it, it was in pretty rough shape. It had been converted to a Golden T2K um, they'd already chopped up the control panel, put the giant trackball in the middle for a golden tee. Um, the cabinet itself has definitely seen uh, some years of abuse. In fact, the front panel, uh, kick panel if you will, had literally been kicked in to where it had been broken in several pieces. Had to do a lot of woodworking to repair that, put it back together, make it all solid one piece again. Um, the original Ninja Turtle artwork, unfortunately, had been covered with both paint and vinyl, so it was a lot of extra work to strip off the vinyl first and foremost, and then sand it back down, get it all smooth. So I could apply the brand new, beautiful vinyl artwork on there. It came out great, looks flawless. Uh, one thing I did notice, oddly enough, when I was installing the artwork that I'd never noticed as a child or an adult growing up, April O'Neil is apparently married, or at least the model actress on the side art here. She's wearing a wedding ring on both the marquee and the side art. So I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, just a weird tidbit that I noticed. But everything for the most part is brand new top to bottom. I did definitely have uh, some painstaking struggles bringing this back to life. Um, first and foremost, I spent some time tinkering on the CRT. Got it up and running. Worked great for about a week and then went right back down to the crapper and stopped working again. Um, absolutely drives me crazy when things like that happen, but it is what it is. Uh, spent a lot of time, spent a lot of money uh, repairing that CRT, and finally I decided, you know what, I'm done with it. So I pulled it, sold it to somebody else to help expenses for this, and uh, everybody was happy. You know, somebody got a, a working CRT again after I repaired it for the second time, and I decided to go ahead and put in the LG dual up monitor inside this, which now I have a beautiful, bright, LCD display that is the original aspect ratio of the original 25 inch CRT monitor. Looks great, turn on scan lines. Uh, you have like the beveled edges as a, a setting, so it looks absolutely phenomenal, at least in my opinion. I get the CRT look, none of the CRT problems. Somebody else gets to fight with the CRT later on down the road. Everybody wins. Brand new marquee, brand new T-molding. The original T-molding is uh, the black textured stuff. I just wanted some bright green T-molding, really makes this cabinet pop. Uh, the control panel itself, oh man, that was another issue as far as rebuilding or repairing things. Uh, it was missing a chunk in the right hand corner, had some drill holes for some security type of placard that was plastered on there. I don't know what the heck that was all about, but I got that all removed, um, started repairing the wood and finally decided, you know what, this control panel had seen way too many years of abuse, so I decided, you know what, uh, I'm just going to use that as a template, built a whole new control panel box. Uh, using the old one as a template. I was able to slot in some more T-molding, you know, add some more green trim to it overall. Uh, I've got a Dell Optiplex small form factor PC running inside, a uh, customized version of CoinOps that I've tinkered with myself. Got all the four player arcade games you could think of. Um, lots of great sports games, of course the beat em ups, and of course I can play older games like Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Streets of Rage, all that kind of stuff. So this is basically a four playing arcade player's dream. Absolutely love it. Um, it's just, like I said, childhood dream come true to always own a Ninja Turtles cabinet. Like this was like my childhood in a nutshell. This and Street Fighter 2 were the two things that like, I went home after playing in the arcades for an entire afternoon just dreaming about owning my own. So I was absolutely ecstatic to be able to bring this back to life. Like I said, it was an original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet. So it's great that I was able to bring new life into it. Uh, I went all out, even on the front coin panel here. Uh, even added the original one, two, three, four player coin, uh, little indicators, stickers where you put your coins in. Uh, got the best Ninja Turtle ever 
keychain Donatello there on the front. Uh, put all new locks on it, of course. Control wise, the original arcade cabinet had Wico joysticks. Not really a fan of them, sorry. And they're crazy pricey if anyone's trying to get four Wico joysticks with the appropriate um, ball top on them. So use the controls that I use for almost every single mod I ever do. It's the IL Euro joysticks and the HAP competition convex buttons with Cherry D44X micro switches. Um, I did take some liberties with the control deck itself and added a third button just so I could have more uh, gameplay. So things like Blitz, Showtime, uh, X-Men, all those other games that are beat-em-ups that require a third button for these special powers. So that's why I went ahead and added a third button to the control deck. Um, I didn't really want to mess with uh, drilling holes for coins and stuff on the, the coin door and I didn't want you know coin mechs because this is free play, it's you know set up at my house. I don't want to have to put quarters in or open the coin door and hit the mechanism every time I want to start a game. So what I did was I installed a couple of these small single push button switches underneath the control panel. I've got one for each player and I've got it configured to where start and coin are the same thing. So double tap it a couple times for each player, you start the game and I've got a fifth one in the dead center there. That is my escape and my back. So anytime I wanna get out of the game, pick another game, I just simply do that. Um, it's unobtrusive, it doesn't stick out, it's not gaudy. I didn't have to drill a bunch of holes on the top of the control panel and ruin the awesome control panel artwork. So that was kind of my solution to that. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't want these sticking out on the front of the coin doors either because I think the coin doors are gorgeous with the, the stickers and that dual you know coin door setup as it is so um, that was like I said that was my idea as far as making it uh, not ugly that's the, that's the only way I can describe it make it not ugly there's also a lot of other missing components on this one so there was no uh, monitor bezel I had to make another monitor bezel for the CRT and then when I took the CRT out I had to make another other monitor bezel when I put in the LG dual up monitor um, there was no glass with it there was no glass retaining bracket so I had to kind of finagle make my own bracket hold the glass in place order the glass in place uh, that I've got in there nice brand new sheet of uh, tempered glass I got it from this company online I went to my local glass company and uh, they quoted me like a month wait time before I could get a piece of glass that was this dimension. I thought that was absolutely insane. So ordered it from this place online. Never had any experience with them whatsoever. Never used them before. I got the glass like five days after I ordered it. Showed up in immaculate condition. Excellently packaged, well-priced. Looks flawless, no issues whatsoever. So that kind of really rounded it out. So now everything looks the way it needs to look. Uh, converted it to stereo sound. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade was mono sound. So I've got it converted to stereo sound. So it's, you know, the best of both worlds. It's the aesthetic look of the original arcade in the original arcade body with you know some new modernized features to uh, make it more enjoyable, at least in my eyes. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade cabinet build. Now this one specifically is not going anywhere. I'm not selling this one. This one's gonna be my pride and joy, my baby that I keep for many, many, many years. But I'm always out on the lookout for a new project and I literally have one right behind the camera that you can't see. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel. Uh, maybe you see something that in the future. But until next time, guys, Hit the like button if you enjoyed the content. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. I'll put product links down to all the parts and pieces I used in this build in case you're curious down in the video description box below. And that does it. Thanks for watching, guys. Really means a lot.